Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Adventure Time! Here on the Gaming Let's Plays channel. Yeah. And uh, we're playing with Marcy, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Marceline! It's Adventure Time. Is there like a ringing bell here? What? No. I I'm, keep hearing a bell. I hear no bell. I, I see the thing that says fight. Okay. But there's if you're hearing bells, then you're having like things in your head that don't exist. Causes uh, concern for me. Okay. Because all I hear is like, you know what this mu music reminds me of? Uh, on the bridge level in Batman Vengeance, where you're like trying to get to the Joker and Harley Quinn on top of the Gotham Bridge, and it has that very ambient, like kind of that sound. It, you're in Batman mode. No, I'm just saying that's what it reminds me of. Like it wasn't really good oh. music. It's just I think that this game on the Switch is having a lot of problems. Hey Luke, you know what it you know what it is when it's not music, but it's not silence either. It's called sound editing. So basically, on Zimmer's forte. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I actually talked to somebody recently when I was starting like. I was at orientation, I was talking to people at my school that were going to start, and I was saying, I don't really want to be a music teacher, because, you know, like, it's all that work, and you don't really make a lot of money, and it's so, like, grueling, you know? And then I just, you know, they were like, oh, you should get into sound editing. And I was just like, uh, good job. Yay. I just don't want to do sound editing. I'd rather write real music. Sound editing, ugh. No, I can't do that either. I don't. And they were like, "Oh yeah, my cousins do that. It pays so much." It's like, yeah, well, that's nice. I I don't want to go that far. Okay, fun. So, uh, pretty much with Jake, what we learned to do is you can ride him, and uh, it makes uh, traversing the area a lot faster than just running. Because I think that's what they want you to do. Because the areas that you go to are pretty vast. So they want us to hop on Jake and... Oh, there we go. We can jump and do hop this. Hop on pop. It's going to make things a little bit easier. Maybe the sound editing is like explosion noises and stuff. Okay, I'm done. No, it's... This is... It's this, it's this basically. This. Yeah, so... Uh, if you guys want to see what we're talking about, our Batman Vengeance Let's Play was done uh, a while ago, but it was either Watch Mojo or another company that used our footage, and they gave us full credit, which was kind of cool. Wow. Um, yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, that's kind of why people were watching that series again. They use footage from other YouTubers? They used our footage from the entire uh, thing for their Batman Vengeance review. Wow. And they credited our name. You're allowed to do that, or do you have to ask permission first? I got no email asking me. They just took the footage and then they gave us a. Uh, you know, but credit. thank you for the pe sending people to our video. That was over a month ago. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay, sea shanty time? You know what this sounds like? It sounds like a certain setting on the fan or like a noisemaker that helps you're supposed to help you go to sleep. Oh, there we go. See? Now the music is working. Yay! I don't know. There's something up with the Switch version of this game. I, I can't... Maybe they needed to do a patch or something like that? I mean, we're playing it before it releases, so... Yeah. There might be some issues with Maybe it. Maybe something needs to be switched up in it. Well, they can patch it, but I notice like some of the battles don't have music. Um, sometimes Finn and Jake aren't talking when I'm pretty positive there's supposed to be dialogue happening. Mm. I'm not sure, though, because I haven't played through this. I'm playing it with you as a blind Let's Play, so I mean... So, theoretically, if this is a, a post-apocalypse... Post apocalyptic world. Mm -hmm. Do you really think that life would like, like, kind of like form crazy, like, versions of people and stuff like that after everyone is all mutated and stuff? Or if you believe in evolution, it could. Well, I mean, even if you don't, even if you believe that it would be a worse version of people, I mean, these people don't even look too evolved. They look like weird. Yeah, right <laughs> like. There. You mean mutated? Yeah. Yeah. Ben doesn't really look like the last human. He looks like the last mutated human. Yeah. But, um, the Fallout series is about, you know, surviving nuclear fallout. Um, yeah, I but mean... they have, like, internal mutations. Like, their body changes to... Mm, 
adapt to some of the radiation. Uh, yeah. Whether or not that could happen in real life, I don't know. I don't want to think about it because then that would get kind of grim. Uh, maybe I asked some really weird questions. I think you do. I, I think like weird games bring out the weird questions. Well, uh, I, I can't answer that on this game. According to like what I, well, I mean it's not that, not like I have like a PhD in science or stuff, but from what I've learned about like biology and stuff and. Like, if, if the gene is already there, like, if there are some people that already have super senses of, like, if there if there's some people that already exist with super thick skin or really good senses of smell, then only those people would survive. And then you would end up having, a, a, basically, a race of people that are just really good at being, like, mm, like, resistant to the outside world. So that would be, like, adaptation. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the werewolf form, which we never use. This is the ultimate super ability uh, that you can get for Marcy. And uh, I did... I fought some enemies while we waited. So, I mean... And I realized that we had the uh, transformation ability coming up, so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Good job. That was hardcore. That was hardcore. I don't know what I was talking about. I, sometimes I don't know. I when guess you open I, your mouth. I wondered. I wondered if everyone would just like be gone, or if you think people could like rise again and I don't know live again. Okay. I, I don't think that's an appropriate uh, topic for this this thing. Uh, so we're okay. just we're we're just gonna let it go. Fire! Okay. All right. Fine. Time for us to head back to. I think we have to take her to the Candy Kingdom. But I think there's a problem with the game right now because there's no uh, exchange between Jake and Marcy and Bonnie, anybody. Nobody's talking. The only one's talking are us, and there's no music either. So, I mean, I'm thinking that this game has a little bit of things that maybe Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network should think about patching, at least for the Switch version. I haven't really watched a lot of other Let's Players um, playing on the other builds. We're one of the only ones that I know that are playing on the Switch. Um, and Warner Brothers wanted us to showcase the Switch one. So we're showing it. And this is this is happening now. What's happening now, you're seeing now. So. Yay! And at, at this time, no patch exists that we know of. So I, I would have got an email saying, hey, Luke, patch this because... You know, it almost feels like I'm a beta tester sometimes with these Warner Brother games, you know? Yeah, definitely. What? Is that like, that's ice cream cones I'm glad and... I'm, I'm glad somebody is sending us stuff, though. Oh, yeah. Those yeah, are they look like... Ice cream cones and ice cream, uh, ice cream sandwiches. Or those cookies. Waffle cones. Those special waffle cookies with the cream in the middle, maybe. I don't really remember what those are. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They come in strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Hmm. I can, I don't know where they are. Like, you usually find them at, like, really old school, like... Mm, like, corner store, like, bakeries or delis. I don't really see them in modern stores a lot. Makes sense. Yeah. Nice little touch of the Adventure Time you flag. Know, you know, you get them in a pack, and they're like a foot... It's a foot long, and then you have, like, all these tiny little cookies in it. You get about, like, 24 cookies in a pack. That's fun. So, uh, we don't have to go to the Candy Kingdom. Uh, our radar is actually taking us back to the Ice King. Oh, now I remember. Uh, Princess Bubblegum has the Ice King's crown, and we have to give it back. Oh, why does Princess Bubblegum look so different? Because she's wearing a pirate outfit. But I thought she always wears her dress. Right. They're all wearing pirate Snack. stuff except for Finn and Jake. Oh. Snack. Although, I think they should have gone on out for Finn and Jake, too. They should have given them, like, pirate attire. That would have been funny. All right. Basically, my question is... All right. To clarify my question. Do you think that, like... If I was in, like, a really extreme environment, I would, like, somehow grow the ability to have, like, telepathy and be able to communicate with my cats. Like, if all my other senses were, like, no. blinded, I could have that sense heightened and be able to speak to my cat. 
poor dog. <laughs> because no. I'm thinking that's what's going on with Finn right now. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's right. focus on giving the Ice King back his crown. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ice King. It's about time. You're out having fun, sailing the world, and here I am up to my southern hemisphere in melting Ice Kingdom. Sorry, man. There is all kinds of messed up stuff going down. Here's your crown. Should be good as new. All right. Ice King has got it going on again. I'd best get to freezing. Good luck, Simon. Jake and me have got to get back to figuring out what caused this mess in the first place. Hey, uh, before you guys go, uh, Gunther and his bros are still missing. Uh, could you pick them up and take them somewhere safe if you see them? We can bring them back here. Nah. They just get underfoot or accidentally frozen into a wall or something. You'd hmm. be surprised how often that happens. There's an ice island over that way. They'll be safe there until I can pick them up. Will do. Come on, Jake. Let's get PB back to the Candy Kingdom. Okay, now we're going back to the Candy Kingdom. Makes sense. Uh, so Ice King wants us to take his penguin friends, if we find them, to a small little ice island, but do not bring them back here. Okay, don't bring them back here. Not yet, because we'll he's re-establishing the Ice Kingdom, because it all melted. Like, all this water it... is because of the Ice Kingdom. And he did that because he kind of messed up, right? Or something. Something happened to his crown, remember? Yeah. Which, uh, apparently, uh, PB was able to switch the gem around, and now Ice King can freeze and do all his normal stuff again. Yep, I just realized in real life you would never do this or be on this adventure because you do not like boats. Oh, I hate boats. With a passion. Princess Bubblegum doesn't seem to be upset at all about being on a boat. She's just hanging off the side. Well, I mean, where else is she gonna sit? She could sit next to Jake. Yeah, she could. You're right. There's maybe like they a just... whole open spot there. Maybe she just wants to hang out there. She's acting like a pirate. But I mean, she... there are... There are pirates that hang on the side of the ship like that. What if she falls in the water, though? It would be so ice cold. She could get hypothermia. Well, I mean, she's not like a real... She's kind of like a bubblegum lady, so maybe she would, like, melt. I don't what? know. What? Are you saying she's partly made of bubblegum? Yeah. She has, like, magical powers and stuff. Speaking of magical powers, uh, it's time for us to do some upgrading because that's really important. I want magical powers. I would be terrified of you and magical powers. What if they were made out of bubble gum? Mm, also. Could, what if I made my own bubble gum kingdom and people made out of bubble gum and brought them to life? Mm. I think I would be a wise and benevolent ruler. I, I don't know. I I don't I I'm. Of course, you know, people who disobeyed my rules would definitely have to be punished. Yeah, here we it. go. This is, this is where the crazy <laughs> stuff comes in. <laughs> have to make Dictator myself Amber. a little prison. Mm -hmm. Maybe make some little places where people have to work off their punishment. You know, okay. of course. Amber's in a mood today. <laughs> All right, so let's get uh, PB back to her kingdom. And uh, hopefully we won't run into any more pirates. So... Uh, I didn't get to mention this before when Amber was talking about whatever she was talking about, but... Uh, you can run into pirates on the high sea, and if you attack them in any way, like with your cannon... Oop. Yep, thank thank you for distracting me so I could crash. Uh, fire. Yep, fire. That was lit. Okay. So, no, it wasn't. Uh, when there are people on the high seas, if you hit them with your cannon, you're going to activate a, um, like a, a timed battle where you have to fight, like, oh. RPG style. There's no way to shink, sink the pirate ships. You can avoid them if you just go around them, and then you don't have oh. to worry about battling them. You can't just hit them with your cannon and have them go down. Right. You, it'll Even if you're, like, halfway across the screen and your cannon manages to hit them, you'll activate a battle sequence where you have to do, like, an RPG fight. That's yeah. something I've noticed while I've been exploring the ocean, so. Yeah. Just something to take notice of. The Candy Kingdom! Eee. Exciting stuff. Feels like the people in Adventure Time just get to do fun, exciting stuff all day. Mm hmm. Oh.
thanks for the lift, guys. Any idea where you're going next? That was easy. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe all this has something to do with the Fire Kingdom. I'm also thinking Flame King might have gotten tired of ruling chipmunks and decided to start melting stuff. Like you said, speculating. We should check it out. There's no way to get to the Fire Kingdom right now. There are huge steam geysers blocking the way. You'd never get around them. Bet Bimo's navigation app could get us through. Hey, we should probably think about putting Find Bimo on our agenda at some point. <laughs> In the meantime, why don't you try to track down? Oh my the gosh! He's probably oh my gosh! The forest. Maybe you can find out what's up with the pirates while you're at it. What's Sounds going like on? Peebubs, you want to come with? Nah, thanks. Things tend to get totally flooby wonkers if I'm away from the Candy Kingdom for too long during a crisis. But let me know what you find. And don't get captured by pirates. It's because people in the Candy Kingdom are dumb. <laughs> Look at them, they're Did dumb. you see the banana guard trying to put out the fire with a spear? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Oh my gosh. That was funny. I like... Oh, am I about to say it? I like the humor in this. It's funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have to go find Bimo now. Oh, we don't have Princess Bubblegum anymore. Nope, she's not hanging on the side anymore. I thought she was actually going to become, like, one of our party members, but... Like I said, the only party members that you seem to get in this game are Finn, Jake, Marcy, and Bimo. Like, uh, Bimo. Princess Bubblegum is not a playable character. I'm just confused. Like, she made all those people, so... She basically lives alone, if you really think about it, because she's just there with all the people she made. Yep. It's kind of, like, crazy. No offense. Yes, it is. <laughs> is that why Finn doesn't want to be with her? Because she's kind of, like... No, they dated for a while. <laughs> okay. He just... I don't know. I think part of him will always love, uh, you know, Princess Bubblegum, but the more he got to know of her... She was more like a, a family member than a, a, you know, love of his life type thing. Uh -huh. And I think he just had a crush on Marcy out of like, you know, wow, I could be eaten by a vampire type of thing. And with Flame Princess, you know, he went further than he went with Princess Bubblegum. You know, he, he really opened up his heart to her, but it didn't end up working out. Mm, poor Finn. And then I think... Princess Bubblegum started to like him again, but it just didn't work out. And then, uh, and Understood. at the start of the, either at the end of the ninth season or the start of the tenth, he ends up with a girl called uh, Huntress Wizard, who was, like, trying to kill him in a couple seasons previous. Oh, okay. Wow, Finn just has, like, every girl ever. All elemental girls, except for Marcy. Then there's that one girl that looks like him. And also, you're forgetting one princess that he ended up actually marrying for a while. Uh, the God. princess of the pillow people. Lumpy? No! Oh. No, it was like a one episode Bad. thing where Finn ended up like in this dimension where there were like pillow people and okay. he married this girl who was Bad. like... Kind of like Princess Bubblegum and Flame Princess in one, like her personality. And he ended up having a family with her, and then, uh... I, I don't even know how it ended up resolving Snack. itself, but it was really weird. Whoa. Snack. It was really weird. Okay. Wow. You know so much more about this than me. Yeah, those look like those one special cookies you get. In a box. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I haven't had those forever. I forgot what they're called. I don't know. They're probably just supposed to be ice cream sandwiches in this, but... I mean, the fact that they're melting the way they are... Oh, Kraken! They look like those oh, bye. cookies. That Kraken's not all he cracked up to be. <laughs> it's weird that the Kraken is pink, though, but it's funny. It makes it cool. Fire! does make it kind of cool. A little bit. It would be cool if animals were all kinds of weird colors in real life. It would make things interesting. Well, our cats are blue. Well, kind of. They're gray blue. They're more grayish than they are blue. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, unfortunately, guys, the, uh, stop and frames that you're seeing 
It is not our capture card that is doing this. I can confirm that these uh, pauses are happening while playing the game. Um, it's probably an easy fix uh, for the Switch. There needs to be a patch. I'm just letting... Because I know WB will check like our our episodes or whatever. They tend to, especially after a series is over. But um, hopefully if somebody's uh, watching this as part of the game, um, you know, people mm -hmm. who, who did this, I would definitely patch... Yes. The the switch is having some issues with the boat travel, missing music, yeah. and uh, we've also had a couple times where I don't think we've shown it, but when we try to go to an island, like the game will jam up and it doesn't load. And if you're if you were for WB and you're watching this, I'm sorry for my commentary. <laughs> it's weird. Yep, I apologize for my wife and her craziness, but I like being crazy. It's fun. Remember it works for Adventure that, Time. Totes. If I was Princess Bubblegum, I would sit down next to Jake because yeah. it'd be tiring on my arm. Don't remind me. Mm. Also, well, I mean, you're not really in the waters that would be frozen right now, but if you fell into the frozen waters, it could be bad. Ah, oh, frozen waters! Aye. Well, you'd have to sit by a fire and make sure that you get all dried clothes on. And get all your wet clothes off and get dry ones on. Mm. So you don't get hypothermia. That makes sense. That's what I learned from watching movies and also from Girl Scouts. I don't know why they taught us that in Girl Scouts. So. I don't know. Hmm. We learn all kinds of weird stuff. It appears we're going the wrong way. I get kind of spacey. Like, I don't... I don't know. There's something about... With the lack of music in this, it's like, I'm really drifting, <laughs> fun, <laughs> uh, because it's just like... It sounds like your fan that you put on when you go to sleep. It does! That's what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> you know what, though? When I was in Girl Scouts, they used to teach us to build a fire, and we put the kindling in the middle, and then we put logs, like, in a square on the outside and keep building it up like a chimney. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, you were just supposed to build it up, like, kind of like a chimney with Tyndall kindling in the middle. Not Tyndall. Kindling. But, uh, I would always obsess so much about that, you know? Because I would make the square exactly even and all the logs perfectly even. All right. I don't know why, but it brought us back to the evil forest. Not a fan of the evil forest. We gotta Me. find another way. Neither. Gotta find another way. Maybe that big... Like light over there. Evil forest. Ooh. The fire swamp. No one's ever escaped alive. It does feel like the fire swamp. It is a fire swamp, probably. Yeah. Minus, you know, the fire. Fire! There we go. I provided the fire. Oh man, I made a Princess Bride reference. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't mean to, it just came out. Yeah, it came out because it's awesome. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You it wouldn't was... have said it if you didn't... Never mind. It was a mistake. Oh my gosh, it looks like Gunther. I haven't seen that movie in so long. It must have been seven years since I've seen it. Mm, no, because we've only been in Pennsylvania 4. We watched it in... Uh, uh, 2015 or 2016. We did? Mm-hmm. Again. Oh man, PB said not to get captured by pirates. Whoops. Look, they have Pimo. <laughs> hey, Jake, help! Oh, hey, Pimo's wearing a pirate Alice outfit. Pete? Get out of here before. Quiet, landlubber. Finn, she's one of them. <gasps> oh, no, Jake, I'm like their leader. Pirate guys don't stand around like lumping idiots. Get them, yo ho ho and stuff. Lumpy Space okay. Princess. Yeah, that's fitting. How come uh, Finn never dated Lumpy Space Princess? I never liked her. She's weird. She's supposed to be weird. Boss battle music again? I so like... we're gonna fight Lumpy Space Princess? I like Lumpy Space Princess because she's weird. Oh, these are new enemies. The bananas look like they've gone rotten. All right, time to use this move. I'm gonna go against uh, that guy. I like yeah. her because it's like, well, if you think about it, who says a princess has to be pretty? And wear a dress. 
or she could just be lumpy and weird. Mm. Alright, so let's go with... We're gonna heal a little bit? Ah, that hit the spot. Actually, no, it really didn't. Let's use our fire ability right. on this fool. Ah. Oh, yeah. Good job. All right. They don't like fire. Good to know. Super effective. Yeah. Stop beating up on Jake, yo. Yeah, you are. Let's do this. Not cool. Boom, baby. How you fools doing? Good. Good. Great. Wonderful. Let's not do that. Or that. Uh, that's what you get. All right, let's go with... Good stuff. Good stuff mm -hmm. indeed. The only thing is, Lumpy Space Princess is a little bit mean in her personality. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! That was kind of awesome. I mean, even though she has the perfect curvy Lumpy figure. Uh... <laughs> She's a little too full of herself. A little crazy, yeah. And crazy. Whoops. I don't even know what kingdom she rules over. Cloud kingdom? I don't know. Me neither. She's just bizarre. I wouldn't worry about it. Ah! Effective. That's not cool, dude. Stop that. What? What a miss! That's not good. Fine, let's go with healing. Come on, Jake. Jake's not really good at this game, unless he has a super ability or something else. I just, I don't like his moveset in this. I like his transformations, but I don't like his basic attacks because I always tend to miss. I like the fact that he's cute and he's good at singing siege chanties. Yeah. And he's a good friend. So yeah, it's just, yeah. This is for actual usefulness now. Uh oh. So who's the more powerful person in a battle? Uh, Marcy. Oh, Marcy is. Let's go with tornado attack. Tornado attack. Boom. Mm. How do you like that? Oh, boggled. Yeah, I know. He gets dizzy after doing that. Okay, you're done. Or not. Come on, Ben. You've got... <gasps> that punk Wait, healed! Why is everyone trying to hurt Jake? Not cool. Oh my gosh. Man. I don't know why when I see Jake, I'm thinking about the Aquaman movie because his voice actor is Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> if he says outrageous, yeah. There are actually two voice actors for Aquaman, though, in that show. Uh, the final episode, they recast the voice of Aquaman with a famous sitcom guy from the 90s. What? Why would they do that? Um, they did it to kind of get the show canceled. Like, Batmite did it because he was trying to be like, Don't you hate it when one of your favorite characters is voiced by a totally different actor? And oh, so, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep. And then Aquaman really wasn't the same anymore because he didn't say outrageous. And no, he did. It just it didn't wasn't sound the, the same. same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, we know Aquaman came back for that Scooby Doo movie and it was amazing. I wish I knew the actor's name because it's like. I think that guy was... really doesn't get it to, to know that he's done like three iconic characters that I really like. It's like. He should get so much more love. John? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like he did Dr. Drake. Drake? Draken. Draken from Kim Possible, Aquaman, the best Aquaman ever, and uh, Jake the dog. Cool. Cool. So, what happens when you're a voice actor and after eight seasons you've done one character? They're like, oh, the series is closing. Oh, he's already doing different shows at the same time. As a voice actor, you do so many different shows at a time. Oh, really? Mm hmm Oh, you don't do one thing at a time? Nope. Some actors do, but most do not. Do you, like, record a bunch of the voice stuff, like, all at once, and then the episodes come out after that? And then you can move on and do other things? Like, do they do Sometimes. Everything? They they usually have them record, like, season by season. 
That's cool. But they're always at least like a year and a half above the animation. Wow. And then what they do is when the show is getting ready to air, they'll bring them in to do something called ADR, wow. which is they add like the oofs and the ahs and the, you know, oh. fighting effects and things like that. That's what they did for the animated series, too. There's Bemo! So We're coming, Bemo! <sighs> Bemo's locked up in the cage, yo! Bemo! Locked up in the cage. Oh, come on! Why can't I get past these fools? Yeah, so basically they... Oh yeah, you're ready to fight. No, that's... Also. that's... I'm booging. Oh yeah, you're booging. Cool. That's a really awesome dance you're doing there, Kaming. Whoa. I need to film this. Okay, I gotta, I gotta use my hands now. <laughs> so... Alright, uh, Jake, do... Oh, never mind. Alright, so let me guess. They do the voice first, read the script, and then those people animate their mouths moving to their voice. No. Yes. Yes, people, yeah, exactly. And then they animate, like, the way that they say stuff and stuff, they animate all, everything to what they're saying. The difference between American stuff and Japanese stuff, cool, we win. Uh, American stuff, they record the voices first, and then they match the voices to the animation. In Japan... When people come over and they do the dub, they watch the full anime yeah. and they do their voice with it at the same time. Oh, and when you're dubbing it. Mm-hmm. That's why oh. once why dubs are usually anime is much uh, faster to put together on American side is oh. they just. And then so after they do the animation, then they'll probably like during the action stuff. Then you come back. And do voice a second time, but it's just like and stuff. Some of the best shows or cartoons ever made had ensemble casts where they would record like radio style in the same room. Um, one of the very few companies that still did that was Warner Brothers. Yeah. Um, although, from what I hear these days, not many uh, recording sessions are done like with the actors like working together. It's mm. all separate recordings like most they, cartoons. They did it with Justice League, I think. Andrea Romano, she was like one of the ones responsible for doing that. When she retired, yeah. Yeah. Um, so did that old school method of Looney Tunes recording and all that other stuff. Mm. Like, she was one of the few voice directors that still did that. So people don't do that anymore, maybe because they can't get their schedules to work, or because they don't like being in the same room as other people, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's an old way of doing things, but... Yeah. Anyway, people, uh, yeah. that is going to do it for today's episode of Adventure Time. Yay! Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, again, to our WB friends, you might want to consider patching the Switch version. It's got some issues, but uh, we're still having fun playing it, and it feels like the heart and soul of Adventure Time. Heck of a send-off. Anyway, check out some of the other cool videos we got going up, and we'll see you with more Adventure Time tomorrow morning. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!